This is an article that appeared in the April 29th, 1906 edition of the New York World, and I found it while I was researching the life of James Edward Kelly, who was a New York City artist, sculptor, painter. He was also friends with many of the important figures of the 19th century, such as General U.S. Grant, Teddy Roosevelt, Thomas Edison, Oscar Wilde, and many, many more. Well, in going through Kelly's papers, I found this article. And it is a clipping about Charles E. Alden, who had invented the vest pocket telephone. That is a precursor of the modern cell phone. It became popular a hundred years later. You see the article title of it's called Telephone for Your Vest Pocket and uh, Dateline Cottage City, Massachusetts, April 28th, Charles E. Alden of New York who has been pursuing experiments here since last fall in wireless telephoning has, he says, solved the problem of wireless telephoning and the result is so simple that it is likely to create a sensation in the business world as well as scientific circles. Now Alden also says, and the reporter writes, that the possibilities are almost limitless. With this new invention, one may yet be able to carry around in his pocket a private telephone which he can call up his house and talk with his family wherever he may be. Persons sitting in the grandstand at a racetrack may telephone to their friends in the city the results of the races undetected. So it sort of had a uh, other motive for inventing this wireless telephone. Well, here's to Charles E. Alden, a man with vision and foresight, who foresaw the modern cell phone, which today it seems we can't live without. Little is known about Charles Alden, uh, as far as I can figure gets no recognition and few people today has ever, have ever even heard of him and his telephone for your vest pocket.